on the bass. I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. And, hey, man, what are we doing today? We are looking at some affordable combos, bass combos. Right. That we've got at the moment. So some uh, some classics here. We've got, um, uh, well, oh. I say. No need for that. Sorry. I'm really sorry about that. More tea, Nathan. Come on. Shall we? <laughs> Just go through what we've got. So we've got a Rumble 100. Um, we have an Ashdown Mag, this is a Mag 300, um, and we've got an Orange uh, Orange Crush 100 as well. Okay. So we're thinking, I was thinking on price point, um, these are all around the similar sort of price, there's only about 100 quid between, like, as, a, as a mass, massive, as a major difference between them. You're looking just under 300 for the, the Fender, 300 on the nose for the Ashdown at the moment, these are a little bit of a deal on those, and 400 quid for the Orange, so 405. Okay. Right. So it's really just sort of seeing, for this sort of money, for this sort of power, what do they sound like? Well, uh, you know, and are they gigable? Are they, you know, are they usable for something that's still going to be practice worthy and you can take it out for a gig? Or what do we think, really? That's what it's going to be about. So okay, that sounds if good you're to interested, me. Stick with us. If not, sorry. <laughs> Go uh, on, something else. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Yeah, so you were playing. Oh, you were playing through the the Ashdown. I like, was on the introduction. I was going through the Ashdown. You were going through the Orange. Orange. That's uh, it. With, with your with me sparkly music man. Sparkly. And I've got an assault rifle. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Yeah, mate. Oh, oh man, that thing is a monster. Isn't it? Um, so that's the BTB something. <laughs> 846SC. I was just about to say that. That's exactly what I was going to say. Just but flow, that, it's stripped off the tongue. Exactly. Like Love poetry. it. Thanks, Ivanis. Um, but yeah, so there's BTB starting, but six string, and yeah, it's just one of those things that turned up recently, and we haven't done a video on it, so we'll just grab it. Couldn't resist it. Couldn't resist all the strings. Couldn't play it either. <laughs> <laughs> now you can. So, all right then. Well, look, as soon as we haven't had a look at the rumble, should we, have a, should we start should with we that? Should we start with the rumble? Start with the old rumble. Like it. In the jungle. Rumble in the jungle. So, okay, this is, the, right. this is the smallest of the three. GoPro on. Yes, yes, it is indeed. Uh, now, 100 watts. 100 watts. Um, um, you've got... A very light. Very light, yes. Uh, which is good, I guess, if you want portability. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it'd be good to talk about that with, with, well, where we, uh, if, if we actually lose something going, going you know, on from that, whether they're, say, you're lightweight, but do you lose some body to the sound? Mm -hmm. Or it'd be quite interesting to find out compared to these two. Okay. Um, but otherwise, yep, yeah, really nice, simple setup, like three band EQ. You've got your vin like your vintage switch on there, I believe. So you've got your vintage kind of- Is that on, is that? Not yet, sorry, no, yeah, I'm poking this around. No, 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 it's all right, I'm not, not filming yet. Um, oh yeah, good shout. Stick it on. I should be, I'm doing yeah. it on my hand. And then you say it's got three band EQ, and you go. Is it in it? Look, we're on, we're on. All right, let me show you. So the, the Fender Rumble, what does it do? So let's show have a look. Us. So we've got, Gain, these are your switches here. So you've got bright switch, contour and vintage, just a little bit of tone shaping. Nice. With your manscaping. Um, drive level, yeah, you've got your overdrive section here. Uh, and then we have bass, low mid, high mid, treble, and master. And I should probably go around the other way. <laughs> um, and we have, uh, what have we got? Send, return, auxiliary, phones, foot switch, power on, there we go. All sorts. All sorts. All sorts of magical things. And a Nathan. Hello. Right. Um, so let's see. Let's see what it says. It sounds like it's like 100 watt amp. I think it's eminent speakers they're using these. Yeah, like one by 12 eminent speaker they're using that. So yeah, let's give it give it a crack. So I listen. Lovely. Play all styles, me. 
on the six string. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a lot of fun slapping on the six string. Love it. Good luck with that one. Right, that sounds sounds good, doesn't it? That, that sounds sound very really nice, I have to say. It does sound nice. Oh, to say as well, we've got everything DI'd at the moment. So yes. yeah, we're hearing it in the room. Yeah. Um, so for the pickers, you'll be hearing it through the DI as well. Um, so hopefully there'll be some nice nice differences between that as well. But obviously with the speakers are going to make a difference as well coming out the front. Yeah. But let's just see how they DI. We're thinking like... So hopefully the DI is set on post EQ, so they'll be getting all that. We like that. We like the rumble. It's yes. Good. It's a nice sounding amp. Yep. No, um, it does sound nice. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's crack on, shall we? So let's, let's crack on. Right, next, we have Ashdown. 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 So, um, the Mag 300, this, this one in particular, this is a 115, uh, I believe. Yes. So, C115-300. So, actually, good thing to say about this is, say, you've got the, the same sort of money. 299 this is compared to 274 okay. with the, with the You say you're doing a deal on these? We've got a few of these through in, so it'd be interesting to see how this comes out. Um, because similar sort of size, similar sort of price, we've got some other configurations in stock at the moment. We've got 210 and a, one, uh, and a one, 110. So all around the same sort of money, 299, 329. Um, and just how it stacks up, because you're paying the same sort of money for a little bit more power in this as well. You know. So let's see how it goes. Let's but have a little listen. Let's have a little listen. Right, let me get me, me semi GoPro. Oh. Right, lovely. Here we go. All oh, turned out of it. Sounds really loud. Yeah, we'll shoot. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, wow, and the crowd goes wild. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Can you dub some crowd going yeah. wild noise on, please? Thank you. <laughs> so, so, what did you make of that? Yeah, a little bit more to play with, with the, the switching around. And so I see you've got, say, active passive switching uh, between here. So that adds, say, a little bit of a pad, as you were saying there, mate, as well. So it takes it down a bit, but there's enough power in here. Um, the compressor, is really really cool. I think that gives you an extra, just full on. It gives you a little bit more sort of body to the sound as well. Okay. Um, but I think it's really nice. The overdrive was meant to be a tube um, emulated overdrive in that as well. So that, to be honest, it didn't sound. It sounded very similar to the to the Rumble in in sort of overdrive quality. Okay. I guess to mm -hmm. me, just in that, that, that quick little. Yeah. little run through you've but got your effects uh, really center usable. returns on the front of this one center returns yeah and you've got tuner output as well if you Tune. want to get that okay in and this is oh, the one thing that was good as well i mentioned it was like if you wanted to extend this out so instead of 300 watts as it is yeah you have got an extension speaker on this as well so i don't think the other two do i'm just double checking no no we don't okay so you can extend that out and get up to 500 watts okay well, so, that's handy. That's handy. So if, if you, you want, want to expand to... later, or maybe you've already got a, a spare cab. Another cab there. you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump with it. Um, so cool. Yeah, okay. No, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I, this was quite nice actually. Just the more, more the control over the mid section in that as well. Yeah, it's got a, little like bit. A, a parametric uh, EQ thing going on there. And it's got a VU meter. What more can you need? 
Oh yeah, 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 lovely, a lovely, yeah, nice, very vintage looking, oh, very aye. retro. Oh aye. All right, cool. So, should we have a look at the uh, orange? orange? Orange. Let's do it. Great. Right, are you going to go pro this? I'm going to pro go. Are you enjoying this? It's good. Isn't I, it? I mean, I, I, yes and no. Yes and no. Yes and you know. But yes, it's fine. The way, it's the way forward. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. I've just got to make sure. I think I'm like covering a lot with my hands and fingers and anyway, So it's all good. You got, well, it's practice it. makes perfect. Exactly. So that's that's a little bit different. The, I think the overdrive they put a little bit more into this. That's nice, man. It's, I like the overdrive on that one. It's nice because it's got a blend on that. So that's yeah, um, really. so you've got your gain stage uh, ready. You can use that wherever it doesn't affect the output or the line line sort of level. But oh, okay. um, you can just blend that in with the clean signal. That's nice. That's well. a nice sound. But then we're talking about another hundred quid, right, on top. So. Another hundred quid. And actually, that that to me just sounded. Um, I mean, in, in, this, in the room anyway, it sounded that orange have got that little bit more of a nasally kind of, say, mid, mid range focus thing to that. And this is a heavy, it's a heavy, heavy boy, this one. Okay. Um, so Another. that is add into that as well, that lower mid, lower mid thing, maybe. Um, but yeah, the only thing I saw in there, it's got a tuner that the others don't. It's got a tuner in it. It's got it, a tuner. Has it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally, actual handy. tuner built into the front of the amp. Well, how about that? Does that, does that mute your uh, signal? It didn't when I, I think I tried it when. Yeah. It doesn't? No. Nah. So it doesn't, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a bit annoying. That is a bit, yeah. That's <laughs> a kind of a bit silly, really. It's a nice feature to have on there, but uh, the thing is, if you can't mute it... Everyone's going to hear you tuning. Yeah, so yeah. you might as well just go... Yeah, like that. that's true. Anyway. <laughs> well... Never mind about that. Okay, okay, so summing up, what are we thinking? Um... Yeah, so uh, there's some really, really good options. I think there's, you know, around this sort of money, so you're thinking, say, maximum 400 quid with, with the orange. I think it's, there's a there's a style for anyone, I think, for everyone here. I think if you're more of a rock player and you want maybe sort of like okay. that, that heavier kind of growly sound, I think, and maybe, maybe a bit more of a usable overdrive. That's why I'm thinking orange. Right. Um, this does a good, this does it, that big, chunky kind of full sound, but yeah, maybe no, not... Not so much on the overdrive, but I love the sub harmonic thing on that. I think that okay. adds to that extra kind of sub sub bass sound underneath your notes. Yeah, really, really good. And the money on that is wicked. And the rumble, I mean, lightweight. I mean, it's the lightest out of them all. Yeah, by some way. Yeah, yeah. So um, if that's going to be a factor for you, you know, that, that's that's probably something really important to look at. If you physically just say you, you, you can't you can't lift out these big big chunky amps, then it's it's understandable and there's an option for you. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, all around the same sort of same sort of money, but this one wins it on the power, I think, you know, and so and, and uh, expandability, of course. If you can uh, stick an extension cab on there as well, then all the better. So you can, I mean, with these you can DI out of them. So as we said before, so you can you can go through front of house. So you've got that extra little bit of bit of signal you can go out. But but yeah, you wouldn't maybe necessarily need that with if you want to extend it out mm. and use use more of a bigger bass sound on stage, you know. So all right, interesting. Very nice. Well, there we go. We have them all in stock. Um, so there's some other versions of the Ashdown ones that we do have in stocks. There's a 110 and a 210. Um, and so at, the, at the same price, did you say? Same price, all around 300 quid. The 210 is 329, so it's a little bit of a bigger casing for that. Um, and two speakers, but yeah, 329. The other one's 299 as well. Um, Rumbles have the, their extended range as well, up to sort of 500 watt combos if you yeah, need. Yeah, there's a whole family of those. Whole family, yeah. And um, I think this is the largest one on the orange that they do in, this, in this range, yeah. Oh, okay. 100 watts for this kind of style, they do a 50 and a 25. Um, a Satsuma. They did a Satsuma. 
little mandarin. Easy peeling. Yeah, like. easy peeling mandarin. Yeah. Um, and then it goes to the tiny terror bass, which we looked at, like more of the, the kind of valve state. Oh, head. Head, and then you go cabs. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So, um, cool. There we go. There you go. Affordable combos. Lots to think about there. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, and if you like the ash down, then uh, I, I guess be quick on those because they're, uh, they've got a deal on you. Yeah? That one in particular, it just seems to be, yeah, let's say this is what's available right now. And we, we found um, found a re really good deal on these. So um, there's not there's not many left, but think, worth, worth having a look at. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> what fun well great stuff I hope you've enjoyed it this has been all about the bass I'm Nathan and I'm Lee and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time we'll bye do bye bye, bye.